everyone and welcome to the weekend shave, to the Sunday shave. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. And um, the same goes for the shaves as well. Now today is a brand new product um, sent to me very kindly by a gentleman called Brian Hoffman. And he's from Ontario. On Ontario, I tell you, yeah, that's right. I hope I pronounce things correctly, is he? In Canada. And Brian uh, started making soaps about 12 years ago. <clears throat> and he did it, and this is what I like, he did it because he was very sensitive to the scented commercial soaps. So he tried to um, start to make soap which worked for him, but was kinder to his skin. And another important thing is he enjoys the process of making the soap. And it means a lot that to someone, when you buy a product, if you see it's been carefully made and all that sort of stuff, so he kindly sent me some, and he sent me his first Canadian shave soap co company, and uh, Grand Valley Vetiver. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, fantastic. And it's got all the ingredients and everything on the back. Very professionally made. I must say, it looks the the uh, con the tub is. Um, the smell is nice, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? So, I've never used it before, um, so it's all new to me as well. And I'll give my honest opinion. Um, I will put uh, links to Brian's uh, details and stuff like that in the description of this video um, and stuff like that. So I've just, got a, I've just got a little sort of auto cue thing going on here. Um, so he started making the soaps because he was sensitive to the commercial soaps and he enjoys making it. Yet. He has seven different fragrances at the moment and he's named them some after local towns in Ontario like Grand Valley Vetiver and South Simcoe Sandalwood. Esther's Peppermint and Grapefruit was named after his daughter who uh, blended it when she was 15 years old. And there's another one, uh, Barbershop Taper Fade, is named after a haircut. It's just little things like that, so I'm looking forward to trying it. So it's an artisan soap. I'm using my Omega ball brush with a stiff knot. Um, a bit more sort of backbone to it. Just so I can, I'm going to lather from the puck itself. So that's been soaking in warm water as I showered. And as you can see, it's wet, but it's not uh, not soaking wet. And we'll start by gathering off the puck. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, there's a mixture of scents here. And it's taking the soap very well onto the brush. Very, very well. So we'll see how this does in a minute. I'm going to take just a bit of time. You can soak the puck, but I just want to see, because it's a new soap, I want to see how it does this way, with having the brush soaking as I normally do. And to be fair, this looks... Uh, look at that already. A lot of thoughts gone into this, Brian. Right, that will do off the puck. I'm just going to wet my face. Um, razor today is going to be the Fat Tip Piccolo. I haven't used that for a while, got a good bit of growth here. And a brand new Wilkinson sword in there today. Because I have got a second hand uh, blade but I'm not going to use that in this razor at the moment. So, face lather and see how we get on. Tell you what, you can tell that you put some passion into making this. For a soap, a hard puck, look how quick that's lathered up. And the more you go, oh, let's go back. 
go to the scent. Now I'm getting, oh, there's a hint of citrus. It's very woody. Citrusy and woody. I think he's listed the um, ingredients. The oh, the fragrance. Um, sandalwood, cedarwood. Oh, so it's very woody. Ginger, orange blossom, bergamot, and lime. <laughs> so it is. Yeah, it's woody. Sandalwood, cedarwood. Look at this. Not dissipate. Look at. I mean, look at that. Seriously, that's fantastic. That for a puck. The more you work it, the creamier it gets. So we'll see how it does for protection and yeah. So it's uh, sandalwood, cedarwood, ginger, orange blossom, bergamot, and lime. Fantastic. And the scent. It's not overpowering. It's not bang into your nostrils. It's just that you're getting a bit of woody, bit of citrusy. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely, 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 lovely. Just rinse the razor. Open comb, three piece, heavy, aggressive razor. Non adjustable, slight overhang of the blade each side. People sometimes say, Why do you mention this overhang? Well, it's better to mention it's there if you don't know and you put it together and you catch your ear or something. Just all knowledge, I think, is important and helps. No pressure. See that? Sweeps through it. That's one of the hairs of the brush then. Oh, that's nice. Cedar wood. Oh, lovely that. Very strong scent of cedar wood then. As you aggregate, Agitate, aggregate. Aggregate is stone, isn't it? As you agitate the soap, you're getting these little wafts of scent. There's a good bit of bite to this razor, so you've got to be careful. Paul, yes. Make sure you remember that little. Yes, okay, I remember you. Let me just empty that. Right, onto this side. God. Very woody and a hint of citrus. That's what I'm getting. Now then, I'm just going to try slickness, I'm going to be honest. Let me just... Uh... Absolutely no problem. Excellent slickness. Longevity of the lather. Hey. Eh? Excellent. Not, dis not dissipating or disappearing to you and me. Well, you've done well there, very well. If I bought that, as he sent me this, obviously, but if I bought that, I would be very happy. Very happy, right. I just dip the brush under the water. I haven't added any more to the brush from the puck, from the soap. So how have you all been? Okay? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, we've had a few days of grand weather here. I think they class that as the British summer. Right. 
last week, bit of a gardening update, last week all the leaves of me chilli fell off and I thought hmm that doesn't look too good maybe it's part of the process however this week I've put it in the window I've not watered it because I watered it once a week and new leaves are growing and it's looking very good so that's fantastic tomatoes are growing bigger those that are there um, I'm just waiting for a couple of them to turn colour so I can sink the old gnashes into it <laughs> And then, uh, what else is there? Oh, the pepper plant. That's doing very well. It's, uh, it's growing and it's green. So, what can you say? Anyway, I tell you, nice that. Just getting hints. Very woody. Cedar wood I can smell, lovely. And then you get a waft of sort of a citrusy, like a citrusy cedar wood, nice. Well, I know what I mean, anyway. Very gently. I was given some broad beans. Um, I'm not sure if they call them that in the States or other countries. Uh, Another word they used to call them here was far, broad beans and some new potatoes off one of my colleagues in work who's got an allotment and very kind he is and they're fantastic, I've had the potatoes before so I'm having pork again tomorrow and we're going across the growth here, uh, pork with new potatoes, broad beans, I'm doing some carrots and or maybe some peas, I don't know, one or the other, and some gravy. And I'm looking forward to that. So, back to the soap. Lathering, excellent, and very quick for a soap, for a puck. Um, scent. It doesn't hit you in the face, it's just a hint as you shave, as you put it on, it's, it's nice, it's a nice sort of gentle scent. Yeah, lovely, one more. Back under the tap, just dip it, just dip it. And if I need to add more from the puck I will, but we'll see how this does. Yeah, longevity of the lather, well you can see it lasts it would last much longer than the shave you needed needed it to last. What does the lather look like? And it well looks like that. Good coverage. It lathers up very quickly to what I like it as. And that's thick and creamy. Good protection during the shave. A nice scent during the shave. And then we'll go on to this last pass and see how it performs with the against the growth, which is a very sensitive um, pass for most people. Using, and to be fair, it's a good test for it because this is an aggressive razor. So, we'll see. But so far, You would not think this was made by somebody whose hobby it is. You'd think it was a, well, a commercially made soap. Good audio feedback with this razor. Right, this is the bit for me. Hardly touching the skin. And then twist. Any pickups? Oh, just 
just a slight pickup. Right, which is nice. That nicker there. Oh, it's a lot of going like, your nostrils around that, eh? What do you think? Nice, isn't it? Gentle. Good slickness, excellent coverage and protection. You know, this neck area is a very sensitive area. And like, oh yeah, look at that. Just, I've wiped it now. Just a little, well, nothing much. That's with talking, that is. But you're worth it. Very satisfying pass this. Oof, it's warm today. Well, look at me going over this, there's no, no soap. Just the film of slickness that's left. Oh, fantastic. Right, rinse off warm water. Witch hazel. If I wasn't using witch hazel, it would be cold water. And I'm using unscented uh, witch hazel alcohol free toner, Thayer's with aloe vera formula, formulation. Go on then, get your hand out, have a dab yourself. You Don't waste it. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Now then, while that goes off, and half of you have you? Oh, you're still there, oh thanks. We'll go over what we're using. So, as I say, the Fat Tip Piccolo solid handle, and it's exactly the same head razor as the Fat Tip Grand, except that the Grand's got a hollow handle and it got quite a short razor, uh, but heavy, good grip, lined grip, open comb. See the blade and the comb, and Aggressive razor, three piece, non adjustable, and does the trick as you can see. Oh, I did there, look, just a, just a bit of a tch -tch. but that's through a tch -tch. what's that? What's that? Tch -tch. Anyway, do you have your own language like that? Oh, just uh, tch -tch myself, <laughs> no, just me, is it? Yeah. Right, all right, that's gone off now, and then. Use the Omega ball brush, good little brush. This um, I've actually ordered uh, a couple of other brushes similar to this because of the good backbone. So it's quite um, a stiff knot, and it's good for. I've said it and said it and said it. It's good for hard soaps. For me personally, you can you can get a a good lather from the Samoa or a Badger brush, but it might take a bit longer. Um, I've hardly touched that, as you can see. And um, this is an artisan homemade soap, first Canadian shave co shave co sh <laughs> too many sh first Canadian shave soap company, Barry Ontario Ontario, because um, Barry can it's one hour north of uh, Toronto, on a lake called Lake Simcoe. And hence a few of the names of the lathers, uh, the soaps he sells, tallow, lanolin, and silk. And as I say, it's a lovely, not in your face scent. It's uh, a gentle, mild scent which lasts during the shave and is made as you 
agitate the soap with a brush or the razor during the shave. You can just get these wafts of cedar wood I could get and citrusy. Um, so woody and citrusy, lovely, very nice. Lathered up, very well you could see, very quickly on the face and it lasted and it gave me protection during the shave and good slickness after I passed over with the razor. And as I'm doing all that, you get these little wafts of uh, scent off the soap and it's lovely. No irritation whatsoever. Using it, that was a, you know, to be fair, that was a tough old start really, because it was, for me anyway, using a very uh, aggressive razor. And then rinsed off with water and I put the old Thayer's unscented witch hazel. Glenn, I hope you're fantastically well and say hello to your mum. And, oh, hang on, I haven't told you, right? Ooh, we're going to give this a go today, the old Aqua Valva Classic Ice Blue. And um, a classic American scent. Oh, that's lovely. Bit of a tingle. Oh, ho, ho. Hey, nostrils around that. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Oh, hey. No dogs today. Somebody must have shot them. Right. That's a joke, that. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Go on, have another sniff there. Go on, it's all oh, right. Think. Blind me, I was asking for this, and the Okay. Nice, isn't it? Just a bit of a tingle there now. Oh, that's nice. Whew. Hey, and uh, what are we going to use to uh, put the old protection back in? Well, Arco Extra Sensitive. I've also got a few of these different scents, and I've got an Arco Sensitive, which is all white. It's all white, actually. All white. You get it? Oh man, all white. And just a dab will do you. into the hands, warm hands, and then massage into the face to complete the shave and to complete the me time, the satisfaction you yearned for before you took the razor out of the cupboard. You're still there. You're like, And uh, people say, oh, you know, what benefits does double-edged razor shaving do? Well, I was 75 yesterday. <laughs> no, it's good, isn't it? Look at that. Very happy. No irritation at all. Nothing. Just complete blissfulness. Loved it. Thank you very much. And thanks, Brian. Um, what can I say? People are very kind. It was sent to me a while ago. And um, yeah, thanks very much. I'll put a link to his uh, details and stuff like that in the video description. Uh, I've got the details there. And uh, take a look yourselves. See what, uh, especially, especially, you know, if you're in Canada, uh, in America, um, it's good to support local people because he does sell soaps actually. Sorry, I didn't mention that. He's got a, a, an Etsy. Oh, Steve Farage has got one of them. Etsy.com. Anyway, I'll put it all in the, in the description and um, see what you think. It's good to support the local people as well. And I hope you get international sales. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I tell you what, that's no one does a classic. That's lovely. Fantastic. Right, I shall uh, keep you no longer on this uh, bank holiday weekend um, in the Britain, in the UK, which means bank holiday Monday, which means it's a national holiday Monday and we're all off work except the emergency services and people like that, carers, uh, 24 hours a day. Never forget people like that. Thank you very much.
for keeping the world going. I'm not going to talk right. I promise myself, don't go on at the end. I go on at the end for some reason. I just don't want to go, you see. That's what it is. I want it to last and last. And it, you know, you're going to see them on Wednesday. I know. Okay, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Brian. Thanks for Brian. Thanks to Brian. And um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, what's left of it. A great start to next week. Until I see you on the next one, it's like a game show, on Wednesday shave, on the midweek shave. So take care and I'll see you then.